It's October 25th. Welcome to October Showdown 2017. Let's mount up. Hey guys, so I'm back at it today. I'm going to continue work on the shooting gallery here and uh, get some more stuff done. So let's get to it. The thing I love about this power supply is it's so easy to turn on the targets. All right guys, so I was able to get this gun fixed up here. Seems to be working better now. Um, I had to uh, glue the uh, barrel of the gun on because it kept sliding off. And I had to reinforce the uh, cable a little bit, but everything seems to be working. Let's see if we can take some shots here. I'm rusty. Why can't I get this one? Hmm. Let's see the other one's working here. Lantern. That lantern's working. I need to adjust. Actually, I need to adjust that saw because the little uh, solenoid guy is uh... there. Now I got the bird. We got to take a look at that though because the uh, the wings used to flap. Uh, and they're not flapping anymore. So uh, maybe the uh, Maybe you're replacing the batteries there will solve that problem, I don't know. So Lori carved up these pumpkins last night and uh, they're looking awesome. And now I need to make some uh, flicker LEDs for them. Uh, so I thought I'd show you what I'm doing for that. So I'm pretty sure I talked about this before, uh, but if you haven't seen it, uh, this is how I set up the pumpkins uh, to hook into the RCA power supply. Uh, I bought a bunch of these female uh, RCA plugs. Um, I got these guys on eBay uh, a long time ago. Um, I actually went and ordered more because this is my very last one. Uh, so I went on and got more of those guys and the way these work is if you're looking for these yourself, if you're looking for solderable female RCA plugs uh, and basically what they do is they just unscrew like this and then here's the, the part that goes on the cable and then this is the uh, point that you solder to. And I have this uh, wire here. This is just a speaker cable. I think this is 18 gauge. You don't need anything this heavy, really. Uh, but I like it because it's it has a thick um, insulator here on here. Uh, I might blank on what it's called, but I feel like it's less likely to break uh, from being carried around and stuff like that. So all I do is I just. Uh, separate the two wires like that and then I strip off the ends just like that and then I clip it here on my uh, soldering iron helper here and go ahead and put some solder on these wires which I believe is called tinning if I'm remembering correctly all right got that done now I need to put the uh, RCA plug tip in there, just this guy right here. So let's clip it in here. All right, and then what you want to do is you want to put a little solder on the plug first. Um, that makes it easier to get going. So the easiest way to do this: put this iron in here, get some solder going in there. helps sometimes to bend the uh, little plugs up a little bit. There we go, that's better. That way you have a little bit more room to work. Uh, now we take our wire and then on the shorter center section is where the, uh, the red wire or the positive wire would go. It's right here. And since you've got wire or solder on the uh, terminal and on the wire, usually uh, connects pretty easily. So now I gotta flip around and do the other side. All right, so now I'm just gonna take, do the same thing here. For whatever reason, the, uh, the negative side always is a little bit trickier to get the solder to stick on here. There you go. And you gotta get the wire in there. Just like that. It's always fun trying to bend these things so that they go where you want. There we go. 
All right, that guy's soldered. And then you just take it off. Move it back a little bit. And then we're gonna take the, uh, the other part of the plug here, put this on the end of the wire, just like that. And then it pulls through. Camera's focused on. Okay, <laughs> hopefully, I don't know if this is in focus or not. I hope so. Anyway, so then you just uh, sometimes you have to bend it back a little bit and then you just screw it together, all right, just like that. And now this one's good to go. The other end I will connect to the Flickr LED. This is the Flickr LED. Um, I bought these guys uh, pre wired here. They have the two leads on it and then there's a resistor here. Um, and it, I don't remember what I paid for these, or even where I got them, to be honest. It might have been eBay, it might have been another site. Um, but it's nice when they're pre-wired like this, because then you just avoid that step of having to solder that all on there. Uh, and it's good to go. And then these wires are already stripped um, and pre-soldered there, so they're ready to be hooked up. Alright, so we're just going to do the same thing on these guys. Separate them out. Strip off the insulation. Is that what it's called? I don't know why I'm blanking on that. I know what this is called. Eh, whatever. Gets this close to Halloween and your brain turns to mush anyway, right? You have no idea what you're doing most of the time. All right. So we're gonna do the same thing as uh, before and put some solder on these wires. All right, that's good to go. And then I'm gonna take some heat shrink tube and put that on so I can cover the two uh, solder connections there. So I'm going to take that and put it on my, uh, my LED leads here. All right, now I can solder these guys together. You just It's pretty easy. I connect red to red and black to black. Doesn't get any more simple than that. All right, those are soldered. So now I just take the uh, heat shrink tube and slide it down to cover my uh, connection here. Just like that. Whoop, that one slid off. Just trying to run away. All right, so we got that there. And then I'm gonna take my heat gun here and just melt that down, shrink that up. All right, there we go. You can kind of bend it a little bit if you want, if it gets like a weird shape to it. You gotta be careful because it gets hot. But, all right, so there we go. So I've got one end, I've got my RCA plug, and the other end I've got my LED wired on. Um, so now all I gotta do is take the pumpkin, drill a hole in the bottom, um, and then use some hot glue to glue that in, and that's it. All right guys, I wanted to show you what I got going here for the audio. Um, I used these crates and I got my speakers in there, hopefully it doesn't screw up my, uh, my audio uh, connection there. And then uh, I've got the other cable over there. And then I can turn this on through here by reaching through the uh, maybe. Yeah. So we got that speaker over here. And we got that speaker over there. And then I'll show you, if we go to the backstage area, I'm having way too much fun with this. Um, this is super dark, huh? you'll see. Uh, here, we're gonna go into the backstage area here. And I've got my, uh, ah, it's too dark, guys. Wait, hold on. Let me, uh, let me add my camera here. Suspense is killing you, right? Yep, okay, so I got this amp that you guys saw before. It's all mounted here, and I got the two speaker wires, and those guys go off to their uh, respective speaker locations. So I think it sounds pretty awesome. I think it's gonna be uh, awesome. In the past, I've just done uh, two little computer speakers, and it wasn't very impressive. So I'm I'm thrilled about this. It's gonna be awesome. So that's good. So we got some more uh, pumpkins to add out there. Um, these are ones that Lori had car carved the other day. Uh, that I made up those, uh, I wired up those LEDs, and. Um, Got them glued in tonight, 
so they're all good to go. And this was uh, this was an old one we had, and I had to fix that one up because the the uh, LED was broken. So that's good. Well, that's going to do it for today, guys. Um, feeling pretty good about our progress. I'm hoping to go ahead and get the gallery uh, totally done tomorrow sometime. Um, if I could pull, the, if I could get that done, uh, I'd feel a lot better because uh, that definitely uh, um, needs to take precedence over the other stuff. Uh, so I'm hoping to get that done. Uh, I'm glad I got the audio stuff done today. Uh, I still need to look at the uh, fog and uh, figure that all out. Um, and there's also, um, I forgot we want to build a, a little jail, uh, some jail bars uh, for that left side of the jail. Um, we have the bars, and they're painted and everything, I just need to build a frame. Uh, so I'm going to try to do that uh, soon. And um, what else? There's more stuff. But I made up a list of, of different things that need to get done before Saturday and then kind of prioritized them. So uh, hopefully I can get those things uh, knocked out. So feeling pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's going to be crazy, man. Halloween's going to be here before we know it. So that's cool. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.